What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about a few different crypto-related stocks and a couple non-crypto-related stocks. That'll be Tesla and Root for David Stevens, or actually Root for David Stevens, Tesla for Navi, uh, but those are at the end. We're going to be talking about IREN and CleanSpark for Cow, Marathon for Rob, Riot for Tony Tacos, BitFarms for Tudora VRAM, GRYP and BTDR for Jonas the Brother, Kony for Corvette Dude, and MicroStrategy for Navi. And then Tesla for Navi, Root for David Stevens, but again, those two are the non-crypto related ones. You guys, I'm going to move through this very fast today. I've got things I need to do involving a bed and closing my eyes and going to bed. So I'm going to be doing that soon, hopefully. Uh, the sooner the better, but i got to get started on the video and just kind of do it quick. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, the next request day thing should be a little bit more, less less rushed, um, but just bear with me for today. Okay. Um, general price predictions. IREN probably going down. You're probably moving down to about $4. You're at $5 now, so you've got lower to go. 10.5% down this week. You've got more to give, though. That's that's my genuine opinion. Um, if you don't hold that $4.10 area, you very well could be moving down to $2.40 or lower. You really could. Uh, so lower, nonetheless, is where I think you're going. Best case scenario, you form another higher low in this kind of like sequence of higher lows and you go just a little bit lower. It's it's possible. But with the way the daily RSI looks, with the way the weekly RSI looks, and the three hour even, you know, I just I'm not I, I would anticipate you want to go lower. Uh, that's my thoughts. So let's talk about Clean Spark now. Clean Spark, you guys, very easy one. This is where I think it's going. We're at 1533. I think we're going to 1189. I've listed my reasons as to why nothing has changed in the month and a half <coughs> that I've established these reasons. So I'm not going to go into it now, but 1189 or lower is where I think CleanSpark is going. And if it is or lower, it's going to be by barely lower. Um, but 1189 target marathon probably going lower as well. I would think you probably do find support somewhere around $12 or $11. If we look at this relative low to high here. Your 61869 splits that perfectly. So I just, yeah, I'd say 13 to $11 is probably where you're going to go, but I'm, I'm going to fine tune it to 11 to, to $12 more so. Marathon going down, yes. Riot, Riot platforms, Riot blockchain. Um, also looking like it wants to go down high to low here or low to high there. I would think 659 to 577 is on the table with a very solid possibility of bouncing around $8.20, but I. I, I can't help but feel like you are going to your 61869 area, which is all the way down at 660 to 577. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on Riot. It was looking good for a second, and now it's looking a little bit bleak, you guys. And that's okay. That's most crypto mining stocks right now. BitFarms also looking like it wants to go down. Where are you going, BitFarms? You got a dollar. You got 197 right now, already down below $2. You probably go to $1.80 to $1.56, somewhere in that area. BitFarms going down. If it goes up from here, it's not going to be by much. It will it likely go down. Griffin Digital Mining. Um, bullish Divergence on the weekly. Up 38% this week. Nice. Decent volume. If it'll load. Trying to be fast and it's trying to be slow. Might have to refresh it. Oh, you got scared, didn't you? All right. Yeah, looking good. Uh, looking decent. You probably move up to about 266 is my thoughts. Just roughly eyeballing it here, but let's see. Yeah, 276, 266, above two dollars. Probably, probably 260 to 280 is what I would think you're going to do. So that's Griffin. Let's talk about Bit Deer BTDR. Ooh, -hoo. interesting. Consolidating. Yes, you're at the ass end of this symmetrical triangle, man. I would think you want to go down. Most of the crypto mining stocks look like they want to go down. I would think you do. You could go up. If you go up, maybe make a run up to about $9.70, $9.80, $10 itself. If you go down, we'll see you at about $5.20 to $4.60, and I, I do think you're going to go down. So that's BTDR. Uh, Coney, Coney, based off Coinbase, it's the uh, Yield Max ETF, whatever. 
see you at 22.42, maybe all the way down at $20.76 itself. Let's see what's Coinbase look like it's doing. Get a twofer with Coney, man. Anytime you do yield max, you get a little twofer. Um, high to low. Yeah, I can see this thing moving back down to like 217, 220, that area. Maybe 144 or 172 is on the table, but I, I bet you hold support at that like 218, 217 area. That's uh, Coney coin, probably both going down, but just just a little bit. Coney maybe a little bit more, but they, they move down pretty similarly. So MicroStrategy, also looking like it wants to move down. Yes, it was all the way up at 2K. Now we are at 1441. That's nothing to be ashamed of though. You've had an immaculate run up and you've probably got more to go. Uh, we are in the beginning of this crypto market. The fact that you didn't reach for your 127, let me rephrase it. The fact that you didn't hit your 1272, you just reached for it, is a little bit uh, out of the ordinary. But I feel like a lot of cryptos have been doing that this cycle. So being that MicroStrategy, it's not a crypto, but you know, Coinbase or uh, Bitcoin is like a very big holding of MicroStrategy, right? MicroStrategy holds a lot of Bitcoin is what I'm trying to say. It makes sense that it might do things in, this, in a similar manner as to crypto. Um, what I'm trying to say is moving back down to 1,000, totally fine. You're at 1,441 1, right now. I would not recommend selling. I wouldn't recommend anything. I'm not a, a financial advisor, but I definitely wouldn't recommend selling here because you never know when this thing could complete its move up here, and then maybe it sees that move back down. But with how it looks at the moment, I would think $1,000 is on the table. To be fair, I mean, you did already pull back to your 100 and you kind of had a positive reaction. You just didn't get follow through. So I'm going to keep it on the downside. I think 1,000 makes sense. Daily RSI looks like it wants to go down. And that's okay. Whatever. Take a little break. Consolidate. Come back. Give people an opportunity to buy more. But if you're one of the people that are thinking this is the opportunity to sell, you are mistaken. That was up here. If you didn't take it up here or up here, you're probably at a bad area to sell because genuinely, we still have a higher low. We did bounce off the 100. You never know when my prediction to go down here could be wrong and then we just go up to the inevitable target area because inevitably, MicroStrategy, you have a date with Destiny for 2400 3400 maybe even $5,500 or more. You have a date with Destiny. It's written in the stars. It's I mean, I'm a... I'm a, I'm, what do they call that? Astro, astronomer? I'm, I, I, I'm not really, but, but I'm just saying. It's written in the stars. Okay, I can see it. It's, it's plain as night. We're going up to 2500 to 5500 $10,000. Who, who knows how high we could go, um, but at least 2500 is what I would think this thing is going to. Why would you sell it here? Um, be patient. Just be patient. You know, maybe, maybe it happens later this year. It probably would happen later this year that you'd reach for that, actually, but but we'll see. Just be patient. That's all my, my – my thoughts are, and I'm not providing financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, obviously. Uh, my thoughts are it's not a good time to sell. It's not a good time to buy. Better times to buy will present themselves, but that doesn't mean you sell. It just means you buy more if it goes down because you never know when the low side could be front-ran. People could be buying in, in advance. It doesn't reach the targets that I have labeled at around $1,000. Maybe it goes to $1,200. And then we turn up and haul ass to $2,400 or beyond. So just a little special uh, input on MicroStrategy, I guess. I, I spent more time on that one. Hits closer to home for me. I got a family member who owns some, man. And he's doing well. If, if, uh, Papa, you, if, if, if I remember, you got, you got a good average on there. Low to high here. Tesla, yes, looking like it wants to go down lower, but you might see a little bit of a reprieve for now. I don't know if I want to use that fib. Let's use this one. There we go. Yeah, 141 probably coming in. Weekly RSI looking nice though. Hey, looking constructive. I mean, it is weak. Don't get me wrong, but it uh, you got some bullish divergence, little double bottom there. I, I don't think it's technically. It is bullish divergence. Okay, yeah, we do have it. And it's already come to fruition, so, you know, what? oh, wait, no, no, it hasn't. No, I, yes, it has. Yes, it has. I'm sorry. I keep going back and forth. Yes, it has. Yeah, 148 to 138 is probably inevitably where you're going to go, though I wouldn't be surprised if you did, you did move up to about 190, 200 <clears throat> before moving lower. You could make a run all the way up to 235 even before moving lower. But I, 
kind of doubt that. But don't get don't get excited if you see yourself at 235. You're like, oh, it's he was wrong. It's going to go up. It'll, it'll probably still come back down. But for the time being, I do think you want to move up. My thoughts would be that you would move up as high as probably about 190. Well, yeah, about 190 to 200 and then down. But we'll see. Time will tell. Anyways, that's that's Tesla. <clears throat> And again, where are you going to move to the downside? Like 138 to 158, something like that. Um, root. We're there. We're at the end. You've got bearish divergence. You've got no volume. You keep moving upwards, you're going to pull back. Yes, you are. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Yep. It makes sense, doesn't it? Maybe first you reach for 100. Maybe first you reach for 90, what is that, 96 to 110, somewhere in there. But inevitably, you likely will go down. It's a very hot weekly RSI. You've been hot for a while. You might not even go up there, man. Maybe that is a bit of front running. And this is kind of an, un, it's, it's a weird fib to draw. But it is, it is legitimate at the same time. Maybe this is a better fib to draw. Let's see. Let's do this one. All time high to all time low. You're in that zone, man. But again, 109 up at the top there. You could, you could reach for like 100 to 109. It wouldn't be crazy. But soon, you will pull back to $42, $23, anywhere in between. That's my genuine opinion. So. You've got a reckoning to come. If you go up higher, cool for the time being. But if not, it could start now or it might start after this next initial move up. I wouldn't be surprised if you did start moving down now, to be honest. But we'll see. Time will tell. Yeah. Anyways, where, where do I think you're going to go inevitably? Probably around $41, if not down to about like $23 again. That's that. So take care. Have a good night, everybody. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. I appreciate you. I know I went through it fast today, but it's it's going to be different. If you like the fast pace, let me know. Maybe maybe you enjoy it. But if you're like, what the hell, man? I feel like you didn't put as much time as you normally do. I didn't. I, I actively tried not to. But I can't get away from talking still. I just love to talk. So with that, I will leave. Take care. Bye-bye.